This video shows how to use StreamWise Studio tools to automate stream analysis. With command line tools, you can automate and speed up your everyday tasks, quickly complete specific and difficult tasks using several commands, save analysis results in CSV, get access to all StreamWise Studio features. StreamWise Studio includes four products. StreamI is a program for in-depth analysis of video sequences and quick fault isolation. Stream Analyzer is a product for syntax analysis of encoded media streams and troubleshooting in containers and transport streams. Video Quality Estimator is an application for video quality analysis based on objective metrics. YUV Viewer is a product for operation with uncompressed YUV streams. After StreamWise Studio installation, command line tools are located in the directories together with standard applications for Windows and Linux OS. For macOS, the tool is located in a separate directory. Switch to the command line mode by pressing Start Run and enter CMD, then go to the folder with the installed product. To launch an application, you need to enter the corresponding command and continue working with the command line options. The syntactic structure should look like this. When launched with the question mark key, the console will display all available parameters. The easiest way to automate the analysis process is to prepare a configuration file with input sources, analysis parameters, and directories to save the result. But the same configuration file can be used for different input files. When launching a console application, you can specify another file, in which case the string with the specified file will be ignored and all the specified analysis parameters will be applied to the new file. If output files are not specified, they are generated based on input file names. This approach allows creating scripts to analyze a group of files. It is important not to move the console without the other applications of the product, otherwise the console application will not start. Let's look at a few examples. Let's get general information about the stream and about each frame using StreamI. To do this, specify the necessary parameters in the configuration file. Run the console application additionally, specifying the input file and the output folder in which the statistics will be saved. The application has created two data files. Now let's search for a parameter in the main thread headers using the IDR flag as an example. Prepare the configuration file and start the console. In the resulting file, we can see all found values with the offset. Using Stream Analyzer, we will analyze the stream for transport errors TR101 to 90. Prepare a configuration file. To make working with the results more comfortable, you can specify a data separator. All found errors are saved in the file. With the help of Quality Estimator, let's calculate some objective metrics. To do this, set the necessary metrics in the configuration file. If you're not sure that files start with the same frame, you can specify a search area, and Quality Estimator will check the area and shift one stream relative to another. If necessary, you can store general information about the analyzed streams. If you add the stream tag, you can get data on the distribution by type of encoding blocks. The index tag saves data about offset, frame type, size, average quantizer, etc. Received data can be analyzed in any program that supports CSV format. We understand that sometimes you may need help. Elecard has a support team as well as an engineering team that can help structure a solution for you. We're able to help address all your analysis needs for projects of any scale and complexity.